just kind of walk normally as we would, calmly, la la la. There's gonna be guys sitting there, and we're, you know, we're fat cats. So let's go ahead. But uh, seriously, David, as fast as microprocessors are starting to move, it's getting down to a molecular level. The question is, at what level will just the actual basics of science stop us from making these these systems smaller? And I'm, it's the entire nanotechnology revolution that I find to be most dynamic. I agree. It was the night of July 15, 2000. Mike Hansen and I were about to attempt the first ever successful infiltration of the Bohemian Grove. Others have tried and failed. No one has ever actually made an in and out with video evidence. Be careful, Mike. Yeah, you know, pray for us. Keep the evil off. I had no idea what I was getting involved in. Not until I really got out of the car and figured out that I'm probably not going to make it out of here alive. So the first hour was really us just trying to hide out in the woods and stuff. So it really wasn't any good. While we're inside the Bohemian Grove, we're actually not inside yet, Mike. We said, well, we've got to figure out how we're going to get the ceremony. So Alex cut a hole in the bag and stuck the camera in the bag. We were smart enough once, we got questioned twice, to go basically hide under a deck of one of the uh, clubhouses. I was pretty good looking still then. Mike was not bad looking. We had guys try to slap us on the ass, pinch our butts, yell at us, hey, baby, come on over here. It's kind of like Pepe Le Pew chasing the cat around, but they're Pepe Le Pew and I'm the cat. And again, this is mainly the Christian conservatives that go to this. Once it started getting dark, we were able to go get into the main crowd. I handed the bag to Alex, and we went into the ceremony. And at first, I'm like, this is overblown. This is just like a Faustian-type play. And that's when Alex was getting it with the bag like that, whipping it around and doing all that. And whispered to him, I said, Alex, that's just too obvious what you're doing. But nobody seemed to notice it. Across the small lake, we saw a carriage with men in black robes bearing a bound body. Remember, it was a hidden camera and at somewhat of an angle. But it was being there in the dark when the lights would flare up, seeing the faces of the men, and they were really into this. And I'm like, oh, this is quite interesting. They're like, shut up. This is a very important ritual. Year after year, you burned me in this room, lifting your huge shouts of triumph to the stars. But when again, he turned your faces to the marketplace, do ye not find me waiting as a whole? In it, they are all collectively putting their bad mojo, their bad karma from the hedge funds and the wars and you know, all the corruption they're doing onto this effigy of a child. And they burn it and, and the child screams in pain. And so it's captured basically like a genie in a lamp and then it's cast out. They go on, don't care. Fire shall have its will of thee. Be gone, don't care. And all the winds make merry with thy dust. Hail, fellowships, eternal flame. Once again, midsummer sets us free. <laughs> Like you're sitting there for an hour going, God, these people are psychotics. You're like, well, it's not just this guy. It's that guy. It's this guy. And that's the corporate leaders. This is the shirt I snuck in the Bohemia Grove with. See, that's the same shirt. And that's the shoes that I snuck in the Bohemia Grove with. That was the day after. I was scared to death. I mean, I can talk about it now and laugh about it. But, you know, back then, I thought they were going to come after us and kill us, which, you know, they could have. 